Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. My name is Sonali, if you guys are new here. And if you are, definitely subscribe down below. Guys, we are currently like nine subscribers away from 25,000. It's insane. I'm so hyped to get there. Um, this morning, I'm going to start my day off by going to brunch. I feel like I never go to brunch on Fridays, but um, a girl in my apartment complex and I are going to go to Elizabeth Street Cafe. I have yet to try their brunch, but I always go to their happy hour. There was a point in time where I literally hit up their happy hour three weeks in a row because first of all, it's so cheap. And second of all, the food is delicious. But I wanted to share my outfit of the day before I head out. Um, my apartment is a freaking pigsty because I've been just shopping for our beach trip and just like fall season in general. So my clothes are everywhere because I wanna just see what I have like when it all comes. And I think it's all coming today. So I might film like a, you know, main channel kind of like fall haul. There's so many different stores that I bought from, so I might do that today, um, but probably not in the vlog because there's just like a lot. Don't mind the messy apartment, but this is my dress for today. I actually got it at Forever 21 and I know so many, like I want to say half the comments, but this is probably very exaggerating, um, on my apartment tour was asking me where I got this dress. I got it at Forever 21 and then when I posted the video, I went to link it and it was not on their site anymore. But good news, I literally found it on, I want to say it was Shop Red Dress or Pink Lily, but this dress still exists out there. So I'm going to link it down below. Hopefully it's still up by the time this video goes up. Um, but it is super pretty. I feel like it's so flattering because it's adjustable with the like cinched waist and you can obviously button it up for like a more professional look. It has really cute balloon sleeves and overall this dress is like really high quality. I'm with Hannah Hi. and we're actually at Snooze. You want to tell them the story? <laughs> This is our third place <laughs> this morning. We've had very bad luck, but now we have food and now I'm super happy. Yes, yeah, so Elizabeth Street didn't have brunch, so and then we went to other snooze and the wait was too long. So we came here and I got the Bella Bella Benny and, and I got everything. <laughs> yes, love that for you. <laughs> I just got home and literally picked up five freaking packages from my apartment office. So I thought I would unbox one just because I probably won't include this package in my fall haul because I didn't buy this. It was sent to me from Waif and Waif is sold at like Nordstrom and I've been wearing a lot of their dresses recently and they're such good quality. Um, it is a little pricier so it makes sense that they're such good quality but I thought I would do a little haul for you guys. First we have this blazer. I don't think I own any blazers. I actually just stopped doing Fashion Pass and I Rented a blazer off of there, took a picture, didn't like love the picture. So I wanted to get another one because I feel like blazers are such a thing right now and it has cute little buttons. It also has like the shoulder pads at the top. So it'll really give you like that structured look. Oh yes, this is so cute. Okay. Also, if you guys know Champagne and Chanel and Dress Up Buttercup, they're like the OG bloggers. They just did um, a best friend collection with Waif. And it's so funny because I was out shooting one of their dresses because they sent it to me before the campaign launch. And I literally saw Emily, which is Champagne and Chanel. She like lives here in Austin now. They're both, they used to live in Houston or Emily used to live in Houston. Um, but yeah, it was so cool because I was like, oh my God, this is your dress and it like hasn't even launched yet. But it was really cool meeting her. Um, but anyways, this kind of reminds me of their line just because they have these really cute little poof sleeves at the end. This is a wrap top and it's gonna look so cute for like the holiday season. If you guys wanna see these pieces styled, definitely go follow me on my Instagram because I will be posting a lot of fall content after my beach content. Um, we're going to the beach next Wednesday and I'm so excited. I had the revelation because I was like, Ryan, guess what? We don't have to bring our work computers because we're both taking off the whole time that we're, we're there, which is almost a week or so. And I was just so excited that I didn't have to pack my work computer because not that I hate my job or anything, but it's a good feeling because I've definitely done a couple of trips where I had to pack my personal and work computer and it's just like so annoying because that's like an extra, what, five pounds? Probably not five pounds. I don't know how big my computer is, but you get the drift. It's just inconvenient having to take both of them. All right, next up we have pretty much like that same like top of that sweater that I just showed you. It has like these cute little puffy sleeves, but it is a dress. This next one is a maxi dress and it has this beautiful like snake print. It's a mock neck, which I love mock necks and it has a cinched waist. I have one more thing to show you guys. It is this top. It kind of has that mock neck and it has this really cool, 
I don't even know what this would be called, but it just has a really cool front. It has like a little cutout. I'll have links to all of the pieces down below. Um, my camera's about to die. I feel like I should go create TikToks because I haven't put on makeup um, this whole week, really. I truly admire all these TikTokers because they make it look so easy, but it's just, it takes forever. It's almost like I'm filming a whole video because I have to like get the lighting set up because the lighting in here is great and all, but I feel like it just could be better with my lighting. It is a lot later. I'm about to head out the door for a sushi night with the girls. We're about to meet Allie's dad and we're gonna go to Neighborhood Sushi. I don't even know where it is. I think it's on South Congress, but I guess we'll find out. Um, but why don't we do another OOTD? Cause I switched my outfit up like 500 times today. I took a lot of pictures for my like to know it. So if you guys aren't already following me over there, go follow me, get some style on Spo, shop my page and see what I'm wearing. Came in here to do my OOTD because I did not love the lighting in there, but the lighting in here isn't even that great. So we'll just get it over with. This top is from Abercrombie & Fitch. These pants are from Abercrombie & Fitch and these shoes are my new babies. They are from Dolce Vita and they have like clear straps and like a really low heel but like a block heel so they're really comfortable and this is my outfit. Um, these jeans, I don't think they're on the site anymore like this style, this wash or whatever but this like structure of jeans are still there. I think they're called the 90s relaxed jeans or something like that. I'll have everything linked down below. I need to take a bunch of boxes down to the dumpster. I like broke them all up today because there was just too many. So gonna leave a little bit early and do that. We're on Wait, South Congress. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Is it a picture? No, no, no. It's <laughs> oh, God, yeah. it's YouTube. <laughs> it's for our YouTube. You guys. some sushi on South Congress. You know, vlog or blog? Vlog. Her, she's a YouTuber. She's 25,000 subscribers. Oh my god. Doing? Not yet. Almost. Hello, 25,000 subscribers. Oh my god. <laughs> this is Olivia, and I will be living in Taylor's house. house. Matcha Motel. With Taylor and Allie, and I'm so excited to be on Snally's vlog. Woohoo! Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, you're oh. a natural. <laughs> morning happy saturday it is a very exciting day because we are going to do ryan's shopping spree today um in my last vlog i mentioned that he lost like 30 pounds yeah. and so we had a bet and so i'm going to treat him to a little shopping spree at first he wanted lululemon i think we're just going to go to south congress and see what, what do, you, do you really want to go to target first no i thought you'd get more my money to target you should use my money for nicer stuff because then you can just use your money yeah, shirts, oh my god, okay, whatever. We'll see what he gets. Our place is still a mess because my clothes are everywhere. I just ordered some empanadas from Cafe and I. We live pretty close to there. And so we are gonna go get some food. Actually, it's not for Ryan, it's for me because I'm hungry and apparently he's not. But today, um, this whole week, my face has been breaking out. It's really weird because I always heard people um, say that their face is breaking out when they're on their period, but I'm getting my next week TMI, but like whatever and I always break out like the week before Why is that that is so weird? So I'm just like not gonna wear makeup I put on eyebrows and then lashes and then I literally just like tapped my beauty blender with excess foundation on my cheeks um, but other than that I do actually want to purchase a new foundation wait Can we go to the domain maybe? I want to go to Sephora, possibly. I got caffeine and I, and I actually got some empanadas, and then um, I think it's called like a guayaba or something. Apparently, my pronunciations are not very good. I'm literally getting torn apart on my Austin day in my life. Um, TikTok. There's this place that I've seen on TikTok and all my friends here in Austin like sent me the TikTok 
and it's called ABBA, or ABBA, I don't know how you really pronounce it, here on South Congress in the new Music Lane, um, what's it called, structure kind of area of South Congress. And it is like the most beautiful patio. I'm dying to go. I have like dinner plans tonight and, and we're busy tomorrow and then we leave for our trip so we don't have time to go right now. And now there's this new breakfast place here. Look how freaking adorable it is inside. Apparently it's really popular. I think Ali said it was like popular in LA or Australia, one of the two. So I'm pumped about that. Yeah, you already have that. That green is cute. Oh shit, we should have like did a closet audit and see what you needed because I have no idea what you need. So I got this pink workout top um, when I was thrifting and it was literally the exact same one. I love it because it's like padded, it has a bra on it and I kind of want another one. Should I get the white? What do you think, white? I think that would be cute. Yeah. All right, so this is what I tried on at Lululemon. I love these freaking workout tops. I only have one and I actually bought it at a thrift store, but I, I just like really like the fit of them. I feel like they're so flattering. And then these shorts are something new, but I wanted to get more running shorts because I have like really cheap ones and they're so tight on me. So these are the on the fly MR shorts. It is a 2.5 inch. You look really good. They look so good. Yeah, I like it. We definitely did some damage on Music Lane, and now we're gonna go into Target to spend the rest of Ryan's shopping spree money. Um, I actually feel like I spent a good amount of money on Music Lane too. I went into Everline for the first time. I feel like I've heard about it more from influencers, and I always thought it was really expensive. Some of the stuff is kind of more expensive because it's like cashmere, but like the workout stuff was like pretty like affordable compared to like what I like know of like set active affordable meaning like I think the sports world was like 38 and like the pants were like 50 something um but if you think about like Lululemon they're like a hundred dollars so um, the Bob Mason place I thought that would be like really expensive oh yeah so we went into this really cute like men's store for Ryan it's called Buck Mason and I feel like I've definitely seen the logo like I could tell by the logo on the shirts. Maybe we like saw it on in a thrift store or something. I don't know. Who knows? But it was a really cool store. Um, and we also thought that was like super expensive because these stores on Music Lane look so nice. They're presented so nice that you're like, oh my god, I can't even walk in there because I know I'm not gonna like be able to afford gloves anything. On. Oh yeah, I was that like, was... yeah, okay, it's not the expensive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that and then like also I was literally about to like go grab the shirt to feel it, and I think he saw it, and then he was like, oh, there's like gloves. Could you put them on? And I was like, oh, okay. How am I gonna feel this shirt? So we're gonna go into Target, and then I actually have a couple of things that I need to get like underwear because my underwear is like way too big on me and I just need to stop wearing big underwear. I don't know why I do that. This is TMI. Okay. Yeah, that's great. yeah literally granny panties. Okay. So we are in Target now and I just found my favorite freaking nail polish in Target. It's the Olive in June. I talk about it all the time on my Instagram. They're like the cutest packaging and they last so long honestly so I'm picking up the color HD. I'm pretty sure it's just like a white color because I've been wanting to get a solid white color from them. So I'm really excited. I hope they have like more colors at Target. This thing is amazing, the poppy. I wasn't really always good at painting my nails, but this helped. Something about the grip, it's just so nice. And then their cuticle oil is really great. Everything about that brand I love. We are back home. Georgia made a touchdown. We had to make it back for the game again. <laughs> The one thing I enjoy in life, she can't let me have. <laughs> no, I'm glad that I can do whatever I want to do and you have that. It's fun. It's it's a nice thing. But we're going to take a pause and do a little haul for you guys because I didn't show you guys everything that he got at Target. And I got like a couple things at Target. So yesterday he actually went to Lululemon, so this isn't what I got him. You like the snap pants? Would you like... Which, which Lululemon did you go to? Same one. Oh, Tiny South Congress? Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah, so these are sub pants. They're like little more like thick for like like waterproof. And I got my favorite socks. I love these socks. 
they like don't make me have blisters and they don't make my feet all like sweaty or anything. It has like underarm breathers. <laughs> yeah, I get those sweaty so pants weird. pretty bad, so that'll help. I've never seen that. It's pretty cool actually. It looks really good on him. Got more little looking stuff today. The inside is really nice, but wasn't gonna get it. It was like $118 or something. I tried it on and I just had to get it. So. I keep telling him he should start investing into like nicer things, but like not that Target stuff isn't really that nice, but I feel like now that we're older and like we have our own money, we, you yeah. know, but we are able to like do this. get nice stuff and I'm like, oh, it's too nice. I'm not going to wear it. But, yeah. You know, so I always thought, I uh, told her to make me wear these. These. <laughs> they gave me um, fresh boob cups because the other ones in that shirt were like way too wrinkly. We do Madewell men's. They have a Madewell for women down the street. Oh, uh, it's a school bag. Mm -hmm. Nice bag. My God, this T-shirt she just had to have. Yeah. Me? I like that color on him though, the green. So this is Everlane. Never been in there. She knows about it apparently. Just got this crew neck. Thought well, I could wear it with like, uh, you know, like work pants or just like mm -hmm. see my golf pants later. I can wear it with that. Yeah. Target didn't have dressing rooms open. So I had to buy everything so I could try it on the return where I don't wear. Uh, I'm just going to go play a comp to explain. This is just all workout. Here. Decided to go with the smaller hoodie. Try them both on in the store. This one did a little more form fitting. I like that color a lot. Yeah. These two things I got, so this is a really cute and really nice like sweater kind of thing, more like a workout top. This one was in the PJ section and just was super soft and cozy. So that is the haul of the day. I'm gonna meet my friend Nagin for happy hour. I think it's pronounced more cafe, but I've heard they have a really good happy hour, like food and drinks, so we're gonna hit that up later. I'm feeling a little sleepy, so that means I'm gonna get my ass up and do something productive. I have heavy whipping cream in my fridge, and we are gonna leave to our beach trip um, on Wednesday. So I wanna kinda try to use up everything that I have in this fridge. I have buttermilk, and I don't know what the frick to do with buttermilk, but I definitely have heavy whipping cream, and I'm gonna make creme brulee, if I didn't say that already. Um, and it makes me happy, because I get to use my KitchenAid, and it makes me feel like I'm actually using the shit I bought. So I will link this YouTube video that I always follow. It is super simple. Literally, the YouTube video is like three minutes, and no one's talking. It's just like B-roll and text over top. I'm here with Nagin hey guys. at this restaurant. We're doing some happy hour. Yes. We're both gonna get the watermelon froze. It looks so good. And it's super cute here. It's actually on Riverside. I've literally never seen it, but it's right by Chilantro. Yeah, we had no idea. It's like, I swear it's hidden. morning y'all it is Sunday and I finally put makeup on but my pimple is still freaking there I just like want it gone for a beach trip because I feel like at the beach I'm probably not gonna wear a lot of makeup so I just want my skin to be better but again I think it's just like hormonal acne this morning I actually went on a run I did two miles running and 0.5 walking I did it alone Ryan didn't come with me I'm so proud of myself for actually like getting my butt out there and you know not making excuses this morning but obviously you have seen that i've not been really eating the best this weekend and i'm literally going to brunch right now we're going to tiny boxwoods not sure if i've said that it's super aesthetic very like elegant looking very beautiful inside and has good food i'm gonna head out the door early because i have to clean my car it is a mess and i'm actually picking her up we just got to tiny boxwoods and we put our name on the list they said that there's really no wait so this is perfect hi i'm mariana so nelly and i met when at a Christmas yeah. party, but then she took the best pictures for Aww. my daughter's first birthday. Yeah, it was so cute, and she's about to turn two in I know. January, he it's said. It's so long. Yeah, um, yeah, and that was the last time we saw each other. Was that last January? This January. The, 
Tasha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like this Tasha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but this place is so good. Can't wait to show you guys. We actually got a table inside. The inside is really pretty though. It's stunning. The outside, it's just getting a little hot. Last so. time it was freezing inside, which oh. is why. And I didn't bring a jacket, oh, but, okay. but it'll be fine. Okay. Be fine. <laughs> it's better than sweating, I guess, but this place is so cute. We are back on South Congress because yesterday when we went to Lululemon, I asked the guy if he would be able to make my Lululemon leggings into biker shorts and he said yes. So I'm back. We're gonna get them tailored in the Lululemon store. But he said it was free. I hope that's still a thing. So I went into SoCo. I was so sad because they told me that you couldn't get old, like really long pants hemmed more than five inches. Like that's like the I guess max you can get it hemmed and like literally the guy yesterday like I explained my situation and he was like yeah you can totally do that you can get it hemmed like no big deal right yeah it, he was like oh yeah that's like a new thing there was a shortage on biker shorts so we're allowing that now and so I was like what the heck like the guy literally told me straight up you could do it yesterday so then I walked out of the store and like the lady at the front was like oh did you get it hemmed I was like no they said I couldn't do it and she was like I've never heard of that rule like blah 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 and so I was like okay whatever I'll just call another Lululemon and see if they could do it and they said yes you can do that I don't know why they wouldn't let you do that so we're going to go to the Lululemon on 6th Street is it 6th Street um, and I explained to them that they are old and they are long and is there like a maximum that you can have and they're like no like we can totally do it so we're gonna go there get it done and hopefully they look really good. I mean, they're, these little lemon leggings that I have are from high school. They're so old and like pilled, but I was like, it's free, like why not? They're actually really nice leggings and they have some holes at the knees. So I was like, this is perfect. I can get it cut to where like the holes don't show and I'll have free biker shorts. All right, we got the pants. They're being hemmed. I did five inches for all of them and I have four pairs, so gonna get four biker shorts that's so exciting because I stopped wearing my Lululemons because like I said they had holes in them but also update for today um, our shoot got canceled because the other photographer's boyfriend um, got called into work so and we we're gonna do like a couple's photo shoot swap so that got canceled but it's fine because I'm breaking out and it's really hot and I know that it would just not be very enjoyable so we're gonna do it after our trip after we get back hopefully it'll be more like fall weather then and then we can actually wear fall outfits and like be in sweaters and dress all cute so now we're gonna go to Barton Creek Square Mall because I'm gonna return a couple Abercrombie jeans I don't know if you guys follow Brie Shepard but she was an influencer that just did a collab with them and I actually got her jeans so those were the ones that I ordered two sizes in we're gonna go return them and I think I want to go into Morphe because there's a Morphe store at that mall too <laughs> So I tried this new taco place over the weekend and I have a feeling it might be better and more convenient than our normal place. So Sonala's gonna give it a try and see if we're gonna switch. I spent the last couple of hours trying to like start packing and I feel like I was shopping so much recently but I was like, where are all my dinner outfits? Like, I feel like maybe I just bought more casual outfits, which obviously is probably better because then I can just like wear them on a normal everyday basis, especially when I come back here after my trip. But again, I was like, what the heck? Like, I literally thought I was like buying clothes for my beach trip. My review on the tacos, they are probably right under Las Troncas. I still like Las Troncas because I swear they dip them, like the, they dip their tortillas or corn tortillas in grease or something like about them is so good and like probably so bad for you, but they are definitely my top fave um, still. This place was on Riverside and it's, you know, comes close, but not all the way there yet. <laughs> 